Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to um, look at how we could source for scholarly articles from the internet and this is very important especially when uh, you are a graduate student or a final year student preparing for his or her project or if you are an academic researcher but before we go on i would like you to subscribe to this channel as well as click the like button you may as well share this video with friends and so there are so many online resources that can assist a student that wants to embark on a research in order to determine or in order to obtain you know articles for literature review articles that could also assist in you know conceptualizing their project study and uh, project project topic as well as the framework for embarking on that um, project or dissertation so we are going to look at four of them the first one is the consensus dot app it's actually more of an ai assisted software uh, assisted website and what it does is that if you have a question you could ask it for instance let's say we have this um, topic pollutants from a let's raise this up pollutants of waste of um, removal of pollutants from a poultry wastewater by constructed wetlands so let's click the search and let's see um, and so what the site does is that it generates and brings out articles from its repository and so you will now see that there are different um, you know these are journals that are related to the topic and so you see this is the constructed wetlands you know um, effect of plants and microorganisms in constructed wetlands for wastewater treatment and so it's actually related to the keywords that i have placed in the search uh, you know button here now what else can we see let's scroll down we will see another topic constructed wetlands um, organic xenobiotics removal and constructed wetlands with emphasis on the importance of the support rate metric so um we can always get literature from this particular website so we also have a pilot scale two-stage constructed wetlands so all these are you know somewhat um, linked to the keywords that was posted here now let's assume that we want to look at this investigating the efficiency of constructed wetlands in the removal of heavy metals and enteric pathogens from wastewater so if i want to have access to this site all i need to do is click on this and it takes me to where the abstract is um, stored and then for the full text all i need to do is click on this and it will open the site now um in case of citation let's assume you want to cite this topic um, this um, um paper the formats are there whether it is for apa mla harvard and chicago so you could always copy this directly and save it in your notepad or a microsoft word or any um, wordpress resource so that's that so before we move to the next one let's look at what the uh, where the topic is um, the journal is um, you know stored and published and so this is the this is the publication this is an abstract and um, from what we can see we can click on this button to get the full 
article. And so this um, journal, this um, paper was um, published in the Environmental Technology Reviews. So the main publishers are Taylor and Francis, which is a good, uh, they are good publishers. But the interesting thing is for you to get this paper, you have to pay. Uh, this is about $61. Now, the this should lead us to the next one. So the next um, site that I want to talk about is called SciHub. And so you can see the website here. So SciHub. Now what SciHub, what it does is that, now look at this, let's go back to this journal. You will see that it has a DOI, more like a key, that could be used to access the journal. And so all I just need to do is, I copy the DOI number here, and I paste it on the reference box here, and click open. And so what it does is that it helps to unlock the journal. And so, instead of me paying $61, I don't have to do that. So, I now have access to the full journal. So, this is the second approach using the SciHub website, which enables us to uh, unlock the DOI numbers of the journals. So, the next one is Google Scholar. So let's also try and see if we can search and get any of, sorry, let's go back and let's copy this and let's um, click it here. So Google Scholar is, um, its, its domain is actually managed by Google and so you have a lot of, so it's a repository for journals and uh, you know, theses and dissertations. So you see a lot and lots of published articles. And so we see a lot of them. Removal of pollutants from chickens, slaughterhouse as wastewater. So you see it is closer to what we have here. Um, we also have performance of rural livestock, constructed wetlands. So those keywords, you can see they have been factored here. And that was what was used to bring out these journals so you look at some of them this will tell you that it has a pdf file and so you can always click that and and there we have the journal article and so the last one that we like to look at is researchgate so researchgate we can always download materials from here so let us click that same search button and i mean the keywords and you will also see related journals so you can always download from here so you, for these ones that requires you to make a request uh, you could always access through the doi so let's use let's copy the doi and see if we can access it it is not in all cases that this kind of um, key could be you know opened but let's see and so you can see this one can also be accessed and so in a nutshell there are four websites that could be used to you know have access to journals that ordinarily one would have to pay for or where the uh, there are restrictions and the author may not that really want a direct access for a potential reader and so if you find this interesting please click the i mean um, give your comments and don't forget to share um, this video and also subscribe to my channel have a great time